Roboduck by Stan or here. Today we are going to be trying to build the Apex Icon. Now hopefully this is a nice simple build for you guys. Um, I have been taking your feedback on board. You guys have been saying I've been going a little bit fast so please bear with me and let me know what you think of the slightly slower tone to this one I'm going to try and adapt to. Bear with me, it might take me a little bit to get used to. So all you need for this build is black. Okay, so we're gonna start over on the left side of the build and we're gonna place one black. And we're gonna work up from this block. So we wanna place one on top, one to the left, and one to the right. So you should have something that looks like a little T here. And now we're gonna work to the left side. So you want to place one on top of your leftmost block now. So on top of this one. So place one block there. Now you want to place one on the left side of this block. So you should have a stairs, stair type object going up to the left. So from here, we're going to be doing the same thing. So we want to place one on the leftmost block and one to the left. And we're going to do this a couple more times yet. So bear with me. One up, one to the left, one up, one to the left, one up, one to the left. And the final one, one up, one to the left. So now, the way I check that I've got this right is you should have eight blocks sticking out on the left side. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Carrying on on the top of this build, you want to place one again on top, but this time you want to place one to the right. Okay, so now we're going to go back down and we're going to work from the right side to the right. So on top of the rightmost block, this one here, you want to place one block, then one to the right. So just like before, on the right of the block you're working on. I'm going to do this again, up one, right one, but this time you want to go right one more. So you should have three normal stairs like, and then one with an extra length. You then, on the rightmost block again, want to go up one, right one, then up one again, and right two again this time. So. You should have something that's starting to look like that. Now we're going to go back to the one up again. So one up, one to the right, one up again, one to the right. We're then going to go one up, two to the right, one up, one to the right, and one up, one to the right. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this now. So that we have a clear block of this build done, what we are going to do now is we're going to go back to our left side that we were working on. So on the right side of it, so this one, just to show you guys where that is, you want to place a block again. Ooh. Okay, and we're going to work to the right side. So you want to go right one, up two, directly on top of it. So you should have something that looks like this now. So going to the right side where we had this two block here, you want to go to the left side of that two block, so here, and you want to build right across to the other side. So you should find that that left side is one taller than this pillar you've just built across. Now you can go ahead and fill in this section with black. I am going to speed through this for you guys uh, and show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay guys, so now you have something that looks like this. We're going to work on the same part on the other side of the build. So this is where your placement blocks come into play because this is going to give us the guide of where we need to place the next lot of blocks without having to use our black. So from the rightmost block on the tallest bit here, 
you want to place one. So I'll show you that from a distance. And that just gives you your basis to start out from. So including this block, you want to go to the right, seven. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then place a block. Now you can remove your placement block. So you see it's just given us that spacing. So from this block, we're actually gonna be working down in the build so that we can get to this point on the bottom, like over there. So for this, you wanna go right one. Underneath it, you wanna place one. And then on the right side of this block, you wanna to go to the right two. Underneath this last block you placed, you wanna go down one. You then wanna go right one on the right side, down one underneath, right two this time, down one underneath, right one, underneath you want to go down one, right two, and this time you want to go underneath, right one, underneath, right one, underneath, this time you want to go right two, underneath, right two, and then in the middle you can just place your block. So here you can see that we have a similar layout for both sides now. So we're going to work up the right side. So to do so, what we want to do is from this right block here, you want to go up one, and then on the right side, right one, up one, right one. So you should have four blocks going up so far. Up one, right one, five now. Up one, right one, six. Up one, right one, seven. Up one, right one. So you should have eight blocks going up there now. Okay, so on this right side again, you now want to work up one, you want to move in a block to the left, so on top of this block here, and you want to place one block, and then one block on top. Okay, and then you want to go left one on this block, and then up two. Okay, so that's the same as before. Now you want to go to the left side, and you want to build across to the right. And if that was a little bit hard to understand, let me show you what the two look like side to side now. So like before, you now wanna fill in that gap. And I will speed through this again. So now we're gonna go back to the left side because we're gonna work from the sticking out block up on this top layer. So this one right here. And we're gonna work to the right. So we are gonna place 10 blocks going to the right. Now, because these two sides are symmetrical, you wanna do the exact same thing on the right side, but inverted. So from the sticking out block on the right side, you wanna go 10 to the left. Like so. So that's going to give us our basis to go off of for the inner part of the icon. So from this right block on this new layer, this one right here, you want to place a block on top. And then from this new block, you want to place one to the right. Then on top of this, two up. Then on the right side, you want to go one to the right. You want to place one on top one to the right, two up, and then one to the right, and then we're gonna do that again. Two up, and one to the right. We then wanna place one on top, and one to the right of this block. Now, we're gonna do that two up thing again, but three times, so I'll walk you through it. You wanna go up two, one to the right, up two, one to the right, up two, one to the right. 
So you should start having something that looks like this. Then I'm gonna go up one, right one. We're gonna go up two, right one, and then up two again. And then right one. So that should be the middle of our build. So we're gonna do the same thing, but on the right side. So on the leftmost block on this right side, this one right here, I'm gonna place a block on top, one to the left, up two on top of it. And then on the right, on the left side of this one, you wanna go left one, up one, left one, up two, left one, up two, left one, up one, left one again, up two, left one, up two, left one, up two, left one. So you should have that free that we did earlier, if you remember. Now you want to go up one, left one, up two, left one, up two, and then place one there. So it should join up nicely. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this, all nicely joined up. So now, just as before, we're going to work on the left side first. But this time we're going to work from the left side of the build. So from the second block in on this left side where I've just placed this block here, so you can see, I'll zoom out a little bit, you are going to be starting to work. So from here, you want to place two block up. You want to go one to the right, two block up again, one to the right, up one, one to the right again. You want to go two up, one to the right, two up, one to the right, and two up again. So you should have something that's starting to look like that. Now you want to go one to the right, one up, one to the right, two up, and then we're going to do two up again. So one to the right, two up. One to the right, up one. One to the right, two up, one to the right, two up, one to the right, two up. So you should have three lots of two in a row there now. One to the right, one up, one to the right, two up, one to the right, two up, one to the right, two up, one to the right, one up, one to the right, two up, one to the right, one up, one to the right, one up. Then you want to go two across. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. So from the second block in on the right side, point where that is again, that is here. We are going to be placing our black. So you want to place one more on top of this, one to the left on this top block, two up one to the left, one up, one to the left. Okay, so you should have two twos and a one. Now you want to do three lots of two up. So on this leftmost block again, two up, one to the left, two up, one to the left, two up, and one to the left. So it's starting to look like that. Now we're going to place a one and then two twos. So on this leftmost block again, up one, left one, 
up two, left one, up two, left one. So you should have something that looks like that. We're going to do another one. So up one, left one, two lots of two again, up two, left one, up two, left one. And we're going to do one more two, up two, left one. So that should be three twos in total on the last slot. Now you want to go up one, left one. And up two three times. So one two, left one. One two, left one. One two, left one. Now you want to go up one. So up one, left one. Up another two, two, left one. Up one, left one, up one. So there we have it guys. Now all that is left is to fill that in. I almost forgot to say guys, the other thing you need to do at the very top of this build, just place two in the middle. Just like that, just to give it a nice little spike. So there you have it guys, that is the Apex Legends icon. Hope you've enjoyed, if you've enjoyed don't forget to smash that like button and I will see you guys next time. Please be sure to let me know any further pixel arts you would like to see in the future. Thank you and goodbye.